It's April 2015. Sarah is four years into its uh, five-year uh, initial period of life. Uh, the Canterbury Earthquake Recovery Act, of course, expires in April 2016, so we're, we've got that on our radar screen. Um, we're still uh, extremely busy with recovery work, working with other agencies across Christchurch, in particular the City Council and the other local authorities and through Naga and Naitahu. Um, but we're starting to think about April 2016, so we're planning for that. We're working with a, uh, a transition ad advisory board, uh, is working with, uh, with us and with the Minister looking at um, what's, what's needed next uh, for recovery. Uh, it's interesting, transition, uh, initially we were thinking of, okay, what's the transition from the Sierra world to the post Sierra world? In fact, now we're looking, looking more at the transition from the first five years of recovery to the second five years of recovery, because it's clear, it's clear that this is quite a long, a long journey. Quite clearly, the government's involvement with Christchurch has been huge, and it will remain at a, at a very high level for some time to come. But there is a desire to see um, local government um, resume uh, a large amount of, of its uh, leadership role in Christchurch. It's been leading right through, along with us, it's been a joint venture, but uh, clearly the City Council um, uh, has, a, has a, a huge role to play over the next phases of, of recovery and, and there's a long way to go. Beyond April 2016 there's still a huge amount of work uh, for central government to be involved in and I suspect there'll be some form of uh, residual SERA uh, continuing with a lot of that sort of work into the future. Uh, there's a lot of work in the, in the central city with the uh, anchor projects for example, there's work with horizontal infrastructure to complete across the city and there's work in the residential red zone uh, to complete, uh, in particular uh, the flat, flat land in Christchurch, uh, Port Hills but also Waimakariri. So we'll be working uh, closely with uh, a number of partner agencies uh, as we go through a lot of that work. Uh, Sarah is working closely with the Christchurch City Council and the arts community as we work on the Performing Arts Precinct, that's on the corner of Colombo and Gloucester Streets. Um, some exciting things happening there. Already, of course, um, we've seen the, uh, the redevelopment of the Isaac Theatre Royal. I was there myself the other night. It's absolutely fantastic, well worth going to see. Um, amazing finishings inside the building and, uh, of course, that wonderful facade. There's now plans for a new uh, Centre for Music and the Arts, uh, known as, as the Piano, and the architecture will reflect that name. Um, that's really, really exciting and um, we're looking forward to seeing uh, that precinct developed over the next few years. Sarah and the Christchurch City Council are talking to the Court Theatre and the Christchurch Symphony Orchestra about uh, their possible uh, involvement in this area in the future. One of the things that's really pleasing at the moment is seeing how much involvement there is in some of the projects we're working in uh, by the public. An example is the Earthquake Memorial where there have been uh, some uh, options uh, given to the public for comment. We've had just under 3,000 people make submissions on that, um, which is uh, you know, a huge amount of public interest. And of course there's going to be decisions made about, about that before too long. Also an area where there's been significant public engagement with us has been over Victoria Square, where, which is clearly a very important place for Cantabrians and uh, some of the initial plans didn't uh, get a, a huge amount of support and so we've gone back to the public saying okay, um, you know, what would you like to see for the square and again there's been uh, significant interest and uh, it's really exciting to see that people are uh, helping us uh, design the Christchurch of the future. Of course making sure people have the information they need to know uh, for the residential repair and rebuild process is important. That's one of the drivers behind setting up what we're calling the In The Know Hub at the Eastgate Mall. Uh, it's where people will be able to go and see the various recovery agencies uh, who, who can assist them with their work. Uh, in particular will be people like EQC and uh, Cancern for example there and people can go along uh, on uh, Monday to Thursday uh, during normal hours and uh, see people uh, who can help them with some of their issues. Uh, the website that's on the screen now is where people can uh, also look to get information to assist them with the residential rebuild uh, process.
Of course, all of the issues I've been talking about are much more will be covered in the future Christchurch update, which is going to letterboxes across Greater Christchurch this weekend, uh, and of course is available for people to look at, at on the Sarah website.